the last and probably should be the most obvious reason why women are drawn to mathematics is all the same reasons men are drawn to mathematics. Because our brains aren't necessarily fundamentally that different. I mean, sure, there may be a lot of women who are less mathematically inclined, but there certainly are women who are mathematically inclined. And the list is long, so I'm not going to bore you with all of it. But here are some really amazing, amazing examples. Um, so, sometimes it's just... I, there's this woman named Grace Hopper. Okay, she was born in 1906. She's an American computer scientist. She was a United States Navy rear admiral. That is so cool. Agnes Mayer Driscoll, American crypt analyst during both World War I and World War II. These are fighters. These are really, I mean, if you didn't know they were women, they were women, they, you probably would have assumed that they were men because of the kind of work that they did. Um, now, women are smart, right? We have a thing, women's intuition. We, we, we might not necessarily think the same way men do, but we are pretty intelligent. And some women are just really freaking intelligent, like Philippa Fawcett, who was the first woman to get a top score in the Cambridge Mathematical Tripos? Tri tri Tripos? Tripos? Um, the, uh, and of course, sometimes it's just freaking talent. Um, here's a woman named Shakuntala Devi, born in 1939. She was an Indian child prodigy, um, something called a mental calculator. And Ruth Lawrence, born in 1971, is a originally from England, um, had her PhD, I think, by the time she was 18. She's actually, uh, she actually teaches at Hebrew U, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and, uh, this is, this one just really blows my mind. There's a woman named Anna Urschler. She's Russian-French. She's an expert on random walks on groups. Random walks is a th is a um, is from probability, and groups is from algebra. So she kind of crisscrossed these two fields of mathematics, and that that just seems like a she created a totally new field for herself. I would never have thought to put those two things together, but hey, it's really cool, and I guess it you know so so obviously we're also motivated by curiosity. You know, what would happen? What would happen if you mix these two areas of mathematics? And and that comes out. And that's really cool. Um, yeah. So, that's it. Tell me what you think. I, I think that asking ourselves, what are the motivations for women to study mathematics can help us overcome the obstacles that women who are already interested in mathematics um, find in the area of academics. Obviously, that's a field that we also have to work on by itself, but if we want to get more women into mathematics, we've got to ask ourselves why did the ones who got there get there in the first place? Um, and also, I think that familiarizing ourselves with our role models and other leaders in our air in the in our in the field, pioneers, women who really paved the way for us before, is an important part of the process, so that we don't go into the field that's really dominated by men and feel like, well, what am I doing here? I'm the only one. I'm the only girl in this classroom. Well, you're not. There, there are a lot of girls, a lot of women out there who have been there and will be there, and here's who they are. And they do some really, really cool stuff. And here's why. <laughs>